It's okay. Well. It says we're alive. <laughs> Hi, my name is Anna and I'm an outreach counselor for COVID Recovery Iowa. And today we have Caitlin with us. And so COVID Recovery Iowa is a FEMA funded program to help support all islands of emotional support and helping them find resources. And today we will be talking about the book, Tomorrow I'll Be Brave. Um, Kaylin, what are your thoughts on the book? Yeah, so um, the book that Anna and I are talking about that she's gonna show you in a few minutes too, we have on our YouTube channel uh, for COVID Recovery Iowa. And so that's one of, when she had mentioned that we've been doing some outreach, that's one of the services and things that we've been doing for kids and families is putting books on YouTube. But then we also have a tell me a story on our um, Facebook page as well on our Facebook resources. So um, the book today, the Tomorrow I'll Be Brave, it's, um, Anna and I had kind of talked about how we feel like it's a great book to share with your kids as we're getting ready for back to school here in the next week for a lot of kids in the state of Iowa. Um, it has a little rabbit who is talking about all of these things that he's going to try and be today. And so it's like trying to be adventurous and curious and um, strong and brave and trying to build up his, his confident as one too, trying to build up his confidence of reminding himself that he can be those things. And um, I think it's also a great reminder for adults too, that sometimes those things aren't always easy, but um, that we can always try. And even if we don't, if we, we want to try and do those things and be those things that even if we try and it doesn't work out all the time for that day, that's okay because we can always try again tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that's a great description. It definitely talks about exploring the possibilities of the day and what you can accomplish that day. Um, and I think it definitely encourages growth as well, um, you know, to try something new, to get out of your comfort zone, um, which can be hard and scary, like you said, either mm -hmm. for kids and adults, it doesn't <laughs> go away. <laughs> yeah, that's what um, we were kind of talking about, like one of the things that would, was kind of the most nerve wracking thing to put yourself out there as a kid is raising your hand, even in class and trying to answer questions and um, how brave that it takes you to be in school to do that. And yeah. even as an adult. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going back to school next week um, for grad school and I am still nervous to raise my hand and talk in class. And so, you know, even if I don't talk on the first day, I'll still have the opportunity the next day to talk and to be brave and confident in myself. Um, yeah, so excited to go back to school, but also nervous. Yeah, totally. And that's, I think that's a good point to like Anna of how, even though you've been in school for a lot of years, that you're doing a whole new chapter. It's like even you're going to grad school. So that's a huge thing. And so even for kids, like they're starting, even though they've been in school, like starting a new grade and new challenges each year is, is different too. Yeah, definitely. And so I think this is a really good book to end the day with your kids. If you want to get it and read it, just because it, it does talk about at the end, like Caitlin said, um, that part about even if you didn't do it today, that you can try again tomorrow and that it's okay if you didn't accomplish everything that you wanted to. You know, we all have those days that are hard and that are tough. And it's important to, you know, give yourself that grace and forgive yourself for maybe not doing everything that you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Totally. And so like I said, we all need that reminder as adults too. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Um, I am going to share my screen and show you guys how to find this book on our YouTube. Um, if you go to YouTube and just type in COVID Recovery Iowa, 
Um, you should be able to find us. This is what our picture looks like. And we always have this um, video with Ashen Kutcher reading a book, which is a fun one. And then you can just go to our videos and you'll see all of these ones that we have. I believe that we have over a hundred books, um, kids books with activities. So oh, wow. we have- I didn't realize we were up to that many already. Yeah. Wow. And then we also have other things on our YouTube. Um, we have all of our Facebook discussions will be going on there as well. And then just some uh, teen videos that we made um, and some food ones. And so if you just scroll down, here is Tomorrow I'll Be Brave. Then you can just click Tell me on a story. it. Right. And then to find the activity, you will scroll down here and then you have to click show more. And then it talks about the activity. So the activity for this book is um, making yourself an award. Um, so drawing a trophy or a blue ribbon or a bouquet of flowers and then writing on it, congratulations for, and then just something that you accomplished that day. So maybe it was completing a test, introducing yourself to someone new. Maybe it was riding a bike without training wheels, raising your hand in class, because no act of bravery is too big or too small to be recognized. And so just um, you know, congratulating yourselves, even for the small stuff. Um, and I mean, the big stuff too. But remembering that, you know, it does take bravery and confidence to um, go out of your comfort zone and try something new. But I think like that when you're mentioning the, the little stuff and the big stuff that um, sometimes it's easy to forget get uh like it, it's easy for our minds to focus on kind of negative things sometimes so taking a step back and you know acknowledging the little things that we do it can help bring some positivity to us and remind us that there are little things that we're doing all the time that we can be proud about so yeah yeah definitely and so Caitlin and I um made ourselves an award <laughs> Caitlin do you want to share yours sure okay <laughs> So I did a trophy and um, my trophy, one of the things that I did actually this morning that I was talking to Anna about right before we got on is that um, at the gym that I go to, there was someone that had just started going that I have known from like, or knew of for many years before. And I wasn't for sure if it was the person. And I kind of like wondered, should I? ask if that's who it is because what if it's not that person and then I'm embarrassed and so I just thought I'm just gonna ask her uh, like are you this person and, and it was and so we had kind of a nice conversation this morning um uh just kind of reconnecting so it ended up having like a, a little bit of a bright spot and it was kind of cool to connect with someone that um I knew from kind of growing up so that was cool I'm yeah, myself. that is a good accomplishment, Caitlin. That can be <laughs> scary when you're not sure if it's someone that you know. <laughs> Mine is I did a bouquet of flowers and I wrote congratulations for trying a new food. So the new food that I tried were tongue tacos. And for me, that was scary just the idea of eating tongue, just because that's not <laughs> what I'm normally used to. Yeah. Um, but I tried it and it was actually good. Um, and so, you know, trying new things can have a good outcome that you enjoy. Like yeah. I mean, mine and Caitlin's turned out to be good. <laughs> yeah. Like you wouldn't fit like the idea of it. Sometimes those things like sounds like we have an idea that it might sound like weird or strange or that it's going to be um not very good but you that might you might be ordering tongue tacos now every time you're <laughs> <eating> tacos <laughs> yeah for sure I think that's another thing is 
a lot of the times we will overthink in our minds about, mm-hmm. you know, the things, something before we say something, and then maybe we don't, or mm-hmm. introducing ourselves to a new person, mm-hmm. you can start thinking like, oh, maybe I should talk to them. But then you're like, well, maybe they think I'm weird, or maybe, mm-hmm. you know, you get all these thoughts in your mind. But I think that's the part about being brave and being confident. And, you know, even if it doesn't go well, that's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and like this morning was the worst thing that could have happened is that they're like, no, that, that's not who I am. I'm this person. I'd be like, okay, sorry. I thought you're somewhere else, someone else. And then that's okay too. Yeah. You just move on with your day. And I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to try. Yep. Yeah. But Definitely. yeah. So do you I have think any other thoughts, Caitlin? I don't think so. I think that's everything. I think now everyone needs to go check out the Tomorrow I'll Be Brave and all of our other stories. I, I guess I was just going to say, too, like if um, we had mentioned at the beginning that these are outreach services. And so um, you can find our contact information on our videos and the posts that we'll have today. So if you or anyone else you know needs some extra support, you can call for outreach or if you like just looking at our stuff and following what we have on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook do that too because we have lots of stuff that we have out there so yeah Yeah. we have lots of resources to help you and if you can't find one that you're looking for definitely just call us or go to our website and I will post a link to that book in the comments so that you guys can go and find it And so I hope that you guys try something new today and that you are brave either today or you have tomorrow. So thank you for joining. Bye. Bye.